Hi guys, welcome along to the Barbecue Talk Show. Today we're going to be talking about Meter products and one in particular, the Meter Plus, which, full disclosure, myself and Ryan have been given by uh, Meter. They provided those for us to test and give an honest review on. So, what did you actually use your meter for and how did what, what methods did you use for cooking, Matt? Tell me all about that. Okay. So I used mine um, for chicken, whole chicken. I've cooked two of them, one on the barbecue, and the wife actually stole the uh, the meter device and used it in the oven for a, a Sunday roast. So it shows the versatility of the device. You, know, you can use it in the, in the oven and in the barbecue, which is really good. What about you, mate? What what did you use yours for? Well, i done a silver side of beef on a rotisserie, obviously on the Weber, um, used it in the rotisserie, cooked it to a perfectly excellent medium rare. It was so juicy. And I'll tell you the thing that impressed me most, it told me how long to rest the meat and how long it'll be until the meat's actually ready. So you know what it's like when you do a barbecue. The missus gets yeah. going, how long is it until the dinner's done? Da, 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 da. Well, not, the obvious answer is when it's done. Now this Absolutely. thing, it was, it was like, hmm, 45 minutes. So I was like, I'll have a bit of that. Took a screenshot, bang, off it went. <laughs> she was like, wow, 45 minutes. Yeah. I tell you, the, 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 the app's really impressive. The fact that, you know, it's got such a choice of meats, different cuts, um, and that countdown timer is, you know, on point. Mm. I I cooked a, a whole chicken in 45 minutes, give or take, on the barbecue. I went out and I was I was questioning the fact that, you know, 45 minutes, I thought, mm, okay, mm. on the safe side, I'm going to use my old trusty uh, thermometer. Went mm. out there. No, nope, it didn't lie. It was done all the way through. Took it off. Gives you the five-minute rest time um mm -hmm. which is you know cool a little countdown on the on the app and then an alarm yeah. when it's done which is you know quite cool um yeah took it upstairs carved it oh my god crack him absolutely mm. crack him. it came out and and the same for the oven the oven was really good um i was i was a little bit worried that the internal uh, the sorry the external temperature uh was going to be a little bit you know too hot for it and they're rated to about 200 degrees on the external probe mm. um which obviously you know with a with a fan oven yeah. you know they can get a little bit hot so i was worried about that about that but no it, it it worked all the way through yeah great great bit of cat i mean uh, for the people that haven't seen these before so this is the meter plus it's a little charging dock and a Bluetooth receiver for the actual probe. The probe comes out like so. Yeah. This then is the Bluetooth receiver. And then you pair that to your phone and away you go. The other thing I really like about this is the fact that it's got magnets on it. So you can stick it to, you know, if you've if you're anything like me and have multiple barbecues, you stick it to one of the other barbecues next mm -hmm. to the one you're cooking with. And it keeps it you know, away from everything. The other thing you can use in the kitchen, stick it to the fridge. Yeah. That's where, that's where I stuck it when we were using it in the, um, in the kitchen, stuck it on the fridge and then, you know, you sent it, it was 50 meter radius with this, which is, you know, really good, really good. Obviously for most people, their cooking area is outside. Yeah. Cooking with barbecues. It doesn't go through walls very well because it's Bluetooth, but you know, that's overcome if you've got like a second device, like a mobile, another mobile phone or a tablet or something like that that's connected to Wi Fi. Then you can use the meter cloud and you can use it wherever you are. And I think you used the meter cloud, didn't you, when you were using your, when you did yeah. your. Yeah, I did. Um, I don't know. I don't know, Paul, but last week I was going to make a video about it, but, um, my microphone ran out of battery so i've got a load of footage oh, without no. any audio but um <laughs> what, what i did actually do is i went down to see tom uh from barbecue life uk um oh, yeah. he lives he lives about 70 miles away from my house and i was like have a look at this he's like oh what's all that then he goes oh, i've got a i've got a pork butt cooking away at home in the drum he goes all right i said uh and i'm, I'm checking it out on my meter cloud 
And he was he was nice. well impressed, mate. Well, to be fair, yeah, so I was oh, I, I was seventy miles around. It's telling me exactly what was going on in the in the smoker, sitting no, there that's, that's nicely at two fifty. I was like, yeah, have a bit a of that. Great feature, absolutely. I think if if there's one thing that I'd like to suggest or would like to see changed, would be that all of these or all all of the models were Wi-Fi enabled. Um, mm just so that that meter cloud link was on all of them without having to use a another device that would be awesome obviously the the meter block is uh the one that's got four probes mm -hmm. but the block itself is wi-fi enabled so you don't then have to use that um additional device yeah but i'd like to see if they could release one even if this was instead of bluetooth uh wireless just so that you don't need that additional device and it's straight into the cloud just to make things a little bit easier. I mean, even if the price point was reflected slightly on it, mm -hmm. you know, I think I'd, I'd pay the money for one that was in the same sort of price bracket as the meter plus because I'm a yeah. cheapskate, but with Wi-Fi, I think then you've got your, your perfect device. That's the only thing that's, that's missing that is if, if you need to, if you like, you need to leave, then, you know, you need another device. Obviously, I'm in a situation where I've got plenty of devices that I can leave kicking around, but mm. people might just only have one mobile device or a tablet that is just Wi-Fi enabled, which, yeah, you know, yeah, that's yeah. the only thing I think I'd, I'd, I'd like to see that's different. But apart mm. from that, a cracking bit of kit. I, I, I really like the actual feel of the product as well, you know. Mm. Um it's got a really, it's really sort of, I don't know, it's just got a good feel to it when you when you pick it up. Um, it feels really, really well, sort of premiumly made. Obviously, yeah. when when you insert it, you've got to put it up to that that line on there as well, just to make sure it's full. Get that in there. There's a little ridge just oh, there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. It's picked up now. Probably just make it out. Mm. There's a little ridge on there that you have to insert it up to. Yeah, Do you know the other thing I like about this is the. Uh, the actual point is a point and it's, it's, you know, I reckon if you poked it, 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 it could do some damage. So, you know, it, it, it's not like a sort of a rounded end. You're going to have to ram right into the meat. It's pointed and it goes in quite easily, doesn't it? I don't think it's for yeah, probing the people. It's, it's just <laughs> obviously <laughs> because it's not for probing people. But what I'm saying is it, it, it when I put it in, in the chickens, um it went in reasonably easy mm. yeah, it, it wasn't like trying to push a blunt object through raw meat if you know what i mean yeah yeah i i had a similar well, obviously when i when i've done the beef beef is obviously quite a dense meat and it just it yeah uh, yeah it slipped right in there for want of a better word it, it went in real easy no effort at all um yeah, I was really impressed with it. And as I said, that's why I said I think it feels like a premium product when you use it and it certainly performs like one. Um I'm gonna redo that cloud video and probably maybe run it along another another like my old faithful just to see if there's any variants in it, see how they run. Because to be honest, I should have probably done that just to have a comparison. But mm. next next time I definitely will be doing that. And I'm gonna make a few extra videos as well for, for meter and tag them in it and all of that good stuff because obviously now we're um sort of working with meter um there's going to be a few giveaways hopefully well there will be in the future of, of our show there's a the discount code as well and um hopefully all our listeners are going to make full use of that um in the uk or us so the discount code that ryan's talking about will be in the description if you want to go go and have a look at that or you know use that and then uh, get yourself a meter meter plus meter block or just a normal meter you know get yourself a discount using our code definitely they're well well worth the well worth the um the money i'd say if you if you're going to get one get one through our site barbecuetalks.com check it out okay guys so that wraps it up for our meter plus review um, thank you very much for tuning in and having a look. We've uh, we really enjoyed using the products. So, if you want to, if, if you guys want to buy a meter, check out the link in the description. If you liked our video, don't forget to subscribe, press the bell to get more 
reviews as and when we do them. Uh, we also have Facebook group. If you want to join that, come along, join the community, post your videos, post your pictures, have a chat about barbecue, cooking outdoors. Just come and join the community. Um, any interesting becoming a guest on one of our shows? If you email us at guest at bbqtalks.com. We're both on Instagram. Check us out. My Instagram handle is smoking cues. Ryan's Instagram handle is Ryan underscore G's underscore barbecue dot stuff. Go and check out his Instagram. Press the like button on some of his pictures. He loves having a, a few likes. Um, and your YouTube channel, Brian G's barbecue and stuff. And talking about your YouTube channel, you're going to do a, a video on how to use the device um, and what the, the, the meat comes out like and, some of the app review as well, aren't you? Absolutely, yeah. Um, I've, I've got some in production at the minute. It's just a case of finishing it off and getting it out. But it will be coming out um, very soon. Just got to see when, hopefully sooner rather than later. So you'll see it pop up on the Barbecue Talks community page. I'll post it there. Come along, check me out, check Matt's stuff out. And that's that, really. That about wraps it up, doesn't it, mate? For this little special edition. So see you on the show. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Bye.